another special edition of the Brett Allen Show. And today Hello. we are, yes, we are chatting with Marina Squachati and Patrick John Fluger, uh, respectively, Burgess and Ruzik of Chicago PD Season 9. Thank you so much for your time. It's great to chat with both of you today. Thank you, Brett. Hey. Yes. Well, I tell you, season nine has just been one heck of a roller coaster ride. And last week was intense <laughs> on so many levels. And I've had the opportunity <laughs> uh, to watch this week's episode. And by the time this airs, people will have seen it. Uh, basically, to catch people up, Michaela has disappeared. You guys scramble to find her. Uh, and uh, both of your characters have a very different approach uh, to this whole situation. Let's talk about this. Uh, Marina, we'll start with you. This is so crazy. I mean, your character has just been through so much. And if this doesn't add insult to injury, um, as, a, as a single parent, I can relate to this as hardcore. How do you get into this headspace uh, as an actor and really connect with these scenes and situations and portray them in such uh, an authentic sort of way? I mean, I feel like at this point, uh, slipping on you know the character of Burgess we've done this for nine years is, is is much easier than learning a new character she's like secondhand but whenever I work with Patty it's just I don't know it's the best thing ever I'm always like is that good he's like no I was like is that good? <laughs> <laughs> so it's it, it helps me like if you know the hardest part about filming something like this an, an episode like this is that it's out of order so you might I think we found Michaela on the first day the second day we go back to loving each other. The third day we hate each other. And it's it's like helps that Patty keeps me honest. And um, I do the same for him. So, you know, I'm not worried, but it's great. For sure. okay. Yeah, I mean, I tell you, just the, the on-screen chemistry that you have as scene partners, you guys just knock it out of the park. Uh, Patrick, let's talk about you again. Your character has had a lot happened. Uh, very different circumstances uh, <laughs> than Marina's character. Uh, one minute you're on the good side of the law, the next minute you're in jail. I mean, <laughs> just a lot happening here. But for you, again, you've played this character for nine seasons. And of <clears> course, <throat> I'm sure I'm assuming it's just as equally easy to slip into this character. But when you're playing intense scenes like this, what is your thought process, uh, your of way of getting into this character? Um, I mean, again, like like Marina said, it's it's kind of like I lean on her a lot, but at the same time, it, it you know they 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 write things at a ten, and so we try and figure out like what the reality is uh, between the two of us. Um, you know, try and try and pull back on it a little bit, and. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we just kind of lean into each other, you know, and uh, uh, um, I don't know that that's the best way I can say it. We kind of lean into each other and and talk to each other, make sure that what's that? Kind of shades of gray. Yeah. Different, different, different numbers, the six, the five, the four. Right, right, right. Because because uh, if, if you look at the page, it, it, it's it's at a 10 the whole time. So we try and figure out how to um, pull each other back, balance each other out, make sure we're talking to each other, make sure we're talking to the audience in a, in a, in a truthful way. And am I saying that right, Mar? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah. No, that's great. And your co-star, LaRoyce, we had him on last year. We were talking about similar things. Oh, my God. LaRoyce, I just read one of his interviews. This man gives the best in interviews yeah I, I i'm telling you uh, i walked away from that like a different person no <laughs> i know he it's all poetic <laughs> and, it's interaction with and it's just like yeah he gives interviews that that put all interviews to shame it's really I, i'm telling you like after <laughs> i spoke with him i had to like rethink a few things as a journalist i know I, I was like, wait a second, hold on let's 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 uh retool the show a little bit but um <laughs> i mean, being his friend yeah, I can imagine. I, I know you guys just do so good. Um, and uh, I'm telling you, just being able to watch your characters grow over nine seasons. It's it's a wild ride that you guys have been on. Um, and all of your characters, yours and Marina's have sort of adjusted and changed and grown over the years. Uh, Marina, as far as playing Burgess, I know, again, you've been doing it for a long time. So it, there's 
probably easy processes to it. But as a, looking at her myopically, just as a human being outside of that, how has she grown and matured? How have you seen that happen over the nine seasons outside of, you know, all the tragic uh, things and positive things too, that she's been a part of? I mean, I think she's really come in on her own. She came in, it feels like a very young sort of plucky officer and is now sort of seen a lot, both, you know, seeing dark sides of Voight, seeing dark sides of Chicago. I mean, she started as a flight attendant. So um, I think that while they both probably see ugly sides of humanity, um, I think that she's really sort of uh, gotten a little harder, I would say. Yeah, she's she has from going, you know, that patrol officer kind of sort of how the show runs. You know, you've you, for a while there, you had two sides. You had the patrol side where you were kind of had a little bit of lighter things happening. And then your side of things, intelligence weren't so light. Uh, Patrick, how about you, my friend? Um, how have you seen your character uh, change and mature? Your storyline is a little bit different. Um, you know, people who haven't seen you got picked out of the Academy way early uh, by Elias's character. And then you sort of work your way into it. Looking at him as just an outside human being, both the positive and negative, how has he matured just as a human being in in the storyline? I mean, I think that, uh, you know, he takes things more seriously. I think he, he he grew up uh, with the idea of Chicago police. His dad's a, a, an officer, Um, I've always believed that his grandfather, you know, he comes from the police, but I, I, I feel like even, even with the show, the show has matured, you know what I mean? And so I feel like my character has matured with the show. Um, and, and along with Burgess, I mean, I, I feel like they've kind of been in line with each other. I might have been in in intelligence before her, but at the same time, I feel like they kind of came up at the same time. Yeah, you know, they 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 um, you know started to love the job and hate the job all at the same time. You know what I mean? I, it, that that sounds kind of contrary, but oh, at the I same time, it. I yeah, it makes sense, right? Yeah, I, I can see that in the way that you play this out. One last question or so here. Very curious. Again, both of you have been a part of a lot of projects. Um, and uh, what was it? We're, we're getting wrapped here. So real quick, Marina, Patrick, real quick. What was it that made you want to become storytellers? Oh, my God. That's such a good question. That's such a good question. I was a ballerina for a long time. And then I think I like, they, they put me on point shoes at SA School of American Ballet and it came out and like all the girls were on their toes and I came out in my heels and I was like, no, uh-uh. So I was like, <laughs> I quite wanted to perform always. I just didn't know in what venue. And as soon as they put me in toe shoes, I knew it wasn't ballet. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Patrick. I saw Braveheart in seventh grade. <laughs> I uh, fell asleep for about two years to that tape on repeat. That tape cassette tape in my player my poor brother who shared a room with me uh (laughs) and uh and i would lay in bed and play out um scenes in my mind or scenes in my bed and um i don't know i just it affected me in, in such a way that i was like if i could if i could gift this to other people then i don't know i that sounds so cheesy but insulting oh i think that is great um we're excited to see what happens for the rest of season nine not only with your on-screen relationship but just with your storylines thank you both uh patrick and marina for your time today it's been a pleasure chatting thank you so much mate